Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to TQM Travels. That's not a good morning. <laughs> what time is it, Lisa? Well, it was 4 when we got up. Now it's 5.35. All of these are mistakes. Yep, we were lucky enough to get a ticket to go see the Cadillac Mountain Summit. We got a parking pass to check it out for sunrise here. So we woke up nice and early, drove up the mountain here. You can yeah. see right now, pitch black still. See some, some, oh, that's just the car. <laughs> <laughs> so we're waiting for it to get a little bit lighter. I was going to try taking a sunrise time lapse up here, but. It's like the wind is like a cheetah right now. Oh, it's so windy right now. It's crazy. Like we're. If we start shaking, it's not an earthquake. <laughs> Literally, it keeps hitting the car and then the car shakes like yeah. a little bit. It's crazy windy, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get a tripod set up. No problem, though. We're going to enjoy watching the sun rise. This is... <laughs> yeah, it's very cool. We we packed some more jackets than we did for Iceland, but not... Still not quite enough, right? Oh, I forgot to zip this one. I'm oh. going to need to zip that one for later. So, yeah, we're just going to enjoy the sunrise here at Cadillac Mountain. We're actually coming back later as well because we have a sunset ticket as well, so we're going to... Check it out. Hopefully the wind We're dies down by then. by then. <laughs> right. That's going to be the toughest oh. part for sure. So Cadillac Mountain is the tallest point here in Acadia National Park. And in a couple of months, mainly in the winter, it's actually the first point where sunlight touches the east coast of the United States. But unfortunately, that begins in October next month. So we can't say we're the first to get sunlight this time. But should be fun. <laughs> Wake up, Lisa. No, look at the sleep. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's, we're like, really, we don't even want to leave the car. It's so cold outside. It's so it's not windy. It's that cold. It's the wind. The it's wind. A, though, it really is the wind. Very cold bursts of wind. All right. Well, let's go check out Sunrise and then we'll catch up with you guys after. It is so cold up here, Lisa. How are you feeling? I'm like chilly, but I'm like also not the worst cold I've ever been in my life. The coldest part of my body are my hands. Oh, uh, that's fair. I'm holding up the camera. Yeah. But you can see the sun's thinking about coming out soon. Oof. Ooh. How's a breeze? <sighs> so many bursts of wind. I walked back to the car to change my jackets up, and oh my goodness, I was getting blown over. Becca. Do not come up here if it's windy. You will blow away. <laughs> currently 6 35 in the morning right now which means it is technically sunrise and you can see we've got this unfortunate cloud blocking the sunrise it's kind of pretty there's a couple of areas where there's some pink and some orange but unfortunately it's not the greatest sunrise for photos but it was nice coming out getting a very sudden awakening when we got out of the car so we're gonna go back to the car, turn on the seat warmers for a bit, and regain some of our lost heat. And then we're gonna check out Thunderhole again because high tide is coming in, just to see if it's even more thunderous than last night. Probably is. Yes. Just kidding. We took a little stop at Thunderhole, but it wasn't thundering quite as much as it was last night. And they had the area closed off anyway. Couldn't even really get down there. 
So we grabbed some breakfast at a cute little bakery in Bar Harbor. And now we are on a short and flat, hopefully, little it's hike. 45 feet of elevation <laughs> gain in the middle of a windstorm surrounded by trees. It is very windy still. Hopefully the trees uh, buffet some of it. And don't fall on top of and us. And don't fall on us, that's true. We're, we're hiking the uh, Jessup Path and Hemlock Path Loop. I think it's two interconnected trails. I think it's just over a mile and a half. Should be a relatively flat, but we'll see. Should be nice. Stretch our legs out and not expend too much energy. So let's go see what this trail looks like. So we've reached what I think is going to be the ending point of the hike for us. We extended it a little past what was expected. We're here at the Tarn, which you can see behind us. It's sort of a swampy lake thing. It's actually, the water is really clear. It's beautiful. I don't beautiful. know if you can call it the ending point, though, if we're not back at the car. That's true. Like... Okay, the halfway point. We're going to start... This is very different than ending. <laughs> we're going to start circling back, and then we're taking the hemlock path back to the car. So pretty easy, though, right? Nice and flat. So far. The boardwalk is beautiful. That area has so many cool trees and we saw some birds flittering around. They were pretty. A lot of mushrooms too. Cool mushrooms to see. So yeah, super fun. It's a really beautiful hike so far. So let's finish it up and we'll tell you what we thought at the end. up the Hemlock and Jessup Path trails. Overall, pretty easy, right? Pretty flat. I won't say it was easy, I'm only because I'm dead. <laughs> Every time there was a slight uh, hill, we'd be like, um, our legs are I so... I was late. My... Just... No, my quads are I burning. I not complain about it. I just did it. <laughs> well, as you can tell, though, Lisa took off her jacket, so the weather is finally starting to warm up. There is still a bit of a breeze, but you can sort of see Maybe, probably not. The clouds are starting to thin as well. We do have sunset tickets to go up to Cadillac Mountain. So hopefully we get a little bit better view with less clouds to see a beautiful sunset up there. But we don't really have any other plans as of right now. We might try to still go to the Jordan Pond House to get some popovers, but we'll see. We'll check in with you guys once we get to our next destination. Lisa and I totally figured out a great activity to do to spend some time here at the park. We're actually just gonna drive along the ring road that goes around the entire park and then just check out these sweet viewpoints and get some photos and videos just throughout the other areas of the park. So come along for the ride.
Now we're here at Bass Harbor Head Lighthouse. This should be a pretty little lighthouse with a short little trail to walk down where. Let's go check out this lighthouse. So Lisa and I have learned that you do not want to attempt to go to Jordan Pond or Jordan Pond House anywhere on the weekend around lunchtime or probably really any time after 10 or so because we literally circled the lot for like an hour trying to find parking. I got my spot stolen. It was annoying, but we're ready to cheer ourselves up with some more delicious lobster rolls. This time we're at the Traveling Lobster. We got hot lobster rolls this time. How is it, Lisa? Nice. I asked the lady at the counter, I was like, should I get a, just another hot lobster or should I get a roll? And she's like, you'll get more meat in the roll, actually. So I was like, ooh, sounds good. Let me give a little taste of some of the meat here. Ooh, it's buttery already. Wow. That's fantastic. Another successful lobster restaurant to visit. So we're gonna enjoy this and then we'll check in with you guys after this. We finally made it to try some popovers here at the Jordan Pond House, finally. Lisa, what did you think? Was it worth the hype? Hashtag like overrated. <laughs> Yeah, they were not the warmest. They were a little warm on the I've got inside. Got many things to say. Let me say them all. One, not the warmest. Two, like four dollars each and mostly air. They were like three bites if you like really tried hard. <laughs> Only because they like expanded so big. So like no pop over, no heat. I will say I think I would have enjoyed them. They were good. I mean, like it's, the flavor was it's fine. bread and butter and jam. Like it's a perfect mixture, but. I think I would have enjoyed them a lot better yesterday. After all of the hiking we did, then there would have been like a little reward, but we didn't really do that much strenuous also, activity. Too tiny. Oh my gosh, that was such a nightmare. It's just parking for Jordan Pond midday, not, not easy. Just take the bus probably is the best. Just give up. We're here at 4 just p.m., an hour before they close. Parking is a little bit easier. We couldn't find any right outside the building, but we did find some at the main Jordan Pond parking area, so. Maybe. Both times I got in quickly. We uh, got in technically at noon, but Chris couldn't park, so then we didn't get in because he was in a car. For an hour. But yeah, they had a spot that freed up like for two people in five minutes. Yeah. But we couldn't get there. The other thing that was a little bit of a bummer is because of the wind earlier today. Look at this, their whole outdoor seating area wasn't being used. And the view out here on the lawn is spectacular, See, honestly. My head. It is. <laughs> The view for the pond is beautiful out here. So that also would have probably added a bit to the popover enjoyment. But you know, we could say we checked it off the list. Everyone says you have but to go get, get a popover. We saw it weak. It was weak. It looks small. So tiny. It looks small compared to the ones we've gotten elsewhere. They took the lobster and shrunk <laughs> it. And then put it on lettuce to make it look bigger. <laughs> right. That's what I thought too. <laughs> but they did. So might taste good, but Yeah, agreed. Team time. You know. Definitely, if, you, if you're able to fit it in your schedule, you know, go for it. It's not like we didn't enjoy our time. It was, it tasted uh, good. The hour waiting. The w okay, yeah. We're, try we're to just try to park. Try to oh, come. there's no service. Zero. No oh, no service. signal. So no signal. No internet service. Yeah. So if you send someone off to park and then letting them know it's ready, doesn't, it doesn't, there's nothing. Nothing. Just no. <laughs> yeah. No that, I would recommend trying to come either earlier in the day um, if you're able to find parking because you will get seated pretty quickly or like we're here at four o'clock perfect timing easy to get seated don't come too late though yeah 445 is too late they will not seat you so it's a fine balance judge you too. right they judged <laughs> well our, we're ready now for our last activity here in acadia national park we are going back up to the summit of cadillac mountain 
to go watch. Goodbye to yeah. the sun that we said hello to. <laughs> right. Hope you could see blue skies, a couple clouds, so hopefully we're treated to a spectacular sunset up there. So let's go check it out. 12 hours later and we're in the exact same car at the exact same place climbing up the exact same mountain. We can see it this time. Oh, there's see there's a log. We didn't even see that last time. What? Oh, uh, the camera you guys didn't get to see it. You're going to have to climb up the stupid mountain <laughs> with your car though. I mean, you can climb it up with your feet, but it doesn't come highly recommended probably. Unless you really are into that kind of thing, <laughs> then go for it. And wow, you're so strong. But Chris is right, last time this was all just like... Darkness. Darkness. And now it's currently lightness, but... The way back down. We want it to be darkness. So we are pretty wishy-washy on what we want from the sky. All right, well, Lisa and I have made it here to Cadillac Mountain for sunset. I'm trying my best to like, using my body to try to block the wind. It's really windy up here, so not as bad as this morning. And just look though, great sunset. Lisa getting some photos also. <laughs> Got the other camera here to try to get a time lapse. We'll see how that turns out. But overall, sunset has been a spectacular treat. It's, sunset has been way better than our sunrise view at least because you know, there's no clouds. We can actually see the sun this time. Spectacular views. I, we'll talk about it afterwards when we get to our hotel tonight, but let's enjoy these views. The sun is gone and it is getting colder by the second. <laughs> I uh, wanted to ask you, Lisa, did you prefer the sunrise on the east side of the mountain or sunset on the west side of Cadillac Mountain from yesterday? There's really only one answer, and the answer is the sunset. But it's very specific to this very time. The <laughs> sunset was warmer and beautifuler. A real word. Yeah, we had a pretty disappointing sunrise um, just because of the clouds and how windy it was. It was so cold. Uh, it was still windy on uh, the sun for sunset, but not nearly as bad. It was much warmer and we could actually see the sun. I think personally, just sort of comparing the two areas, I would probably still prefer sunset. Um, because you have Eagle Lake sort of right right in front of where the sun is setting, so it's just very, very picturesque. It's a little bit harder to focus on like one area, especially for like photography um, on the east side. So that's just my personal opinion though. They're both beautiful. Wow, well, sunset was spectacular last night. We then had a long drive down to Biddleford. I didn't realize how far away the hotel was that I booked. We got in pretty late. But here we are. We're at Congdon's Donuts right now, enjoying some delicious breakfast before heading to Boston to catch a flight back home. What did you think, Katie? Did you get down low? I liked it a lot. It was nice because it was small, so we, I felt like we did a lot of the park even though we were just there for two days. I really liked that beehive hike. That was a lot of fun. Did you have like any standout moments for you? I mean, positive. Finishing both those hikes. <laughs> right. Negative decided to go on that hike on a whim. Oh my gosh, so exhausting. I mean, we felt accomplished though but afterwards, right? The whim. I need to stop letting my whims guide me hiking. <laughs> it seemed so easy. It was like half a mile. Okay, I guess we'll go see it. <laughs> oh man, that was a 
That second one was a tough climb. Both of our legs are still so sore. Moderately we, sore. We, I wouldn't call it so sore. It's been worse. <laughs> that, yeah, I guess that's true. Remember, My legs are pretty sore. But remember the Kahuti Trail? Ah, uh, true. It's not the Kahuti Trail. I, I did end up enjoying that second hike still. I think my least favorite part was probably trying to like get parking over by Jordan Pond for the Jordan Pond house. If you go during like a peak time, it is impossible to find a parking spot. Definitely try to go there Not either earlier much. or later in the day. You'll, you'll probably have better luck finding a parking spot, but overall the park is beautiful. Boston was a ton of fun too. We had so much good food. So Lisa, that begs the most important question from this trip. I already know what it is. Who had the best lobster? Sea rice. You think so? The cooked lobster there? Yeah, that was my favorite one. That one is a close, it's, a, it's sort of a toss up for me. I really like sea rays, but I also like traveling lobster as well. That lobster roll, the cooked lobster roll is so good. Both, you, I don't think you can go wrong if you go to a nice, nice little lobster pound out uh, near the park, those are good. I really like the uh, the one in Boston too, um, James Hook. That one was also a pretty good lobster roll. But it was our first one, so. Yeah, right, for sure. Well, that's it though for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to the channel. And also, if you enjoyed this content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you can be notified when our next episode comes out. And until next time guys, cheers.